This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Hi, my name is John Corey and I'm excited to announce my uh, masterclass course on tapping. I'm just kidding. No, uh, this video, I'm just going to be breaking down that Guthrie Govan inspired tapping lick that you heard in the intro. Please, if you like this sort of video on YouTube from me specifically, leave a comment, uh, comment, I already said comment, like and share it around, uh, send it to a friend, send it to your nan, whoever needs to work on their tapping. Um, the Patreon will be the place to get the backing track as well as the actual tab for this but you should be able to work it out from the video, I imagine. Okay. So here's the principle. With our right hand, we're gonna try and tuck, dig on the old lapel. We're gonna try and tuck this um, pick away because I'm gonna want you to be using the third finger and the fourth finger for this. Uh, I know some people kind of tap like this. I guess tucking like that does enable you to have all three fingers free, um, but we're gonna be using, or I personally use these two fingers um, sort of like a whatever anyway so we're in D major for this or B minor and what I would be doing is I'm gonna be hitting the 17th fret which is an A and the 15th fret with a D okay and then the other part with this hand is gonna be the 15th and the 14th so we get A, D, D, A, and then with this hand, we're gonna go from the E to the A. So E, A, and then from the A, back down to the E. And we're gonna basically pass the melody, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you get two notes on our right hand, two notes on our left. That is the basic gist of this. Now Guthrie in the tune does a lick something similar to this, isn't it? Something like that, right? I haven't got the fret to do this. Something like that, right? This is where that the idea for this lick came from. Maybe 10 years ago, something like that. But I've sort of played it ever since it's been one of the only tapping things that I still kind of like to do. So we're gonna play it in 16th notes. And sleeves are the enemy of tapping as I found out over the years. Okay, and one option that we could do there's our root, we could play the seventh underneath. And this tapping thing is kind of tricky, but it's all kind of hammer on bass. And what you're aiming to do is probably be quite specific about where in your right hand you're attacking the strings so that it's kind of consistent. And you need to sync it up quite well, otherwise you'll get lots of um, ringing out notes. But I'm kind of blocking off most of the strings with the fleshy part of this hand. 
I'm resting with my thumb up here. The other thing you could do if you want to get more into this, we could start to move the pattern down like Guthrie does. Um, so we could try it a whole octave down, so would become like that, right? So you'd get 14, 12, 9, 7, 12, 12. Uh, 12, 12, 7, 7. Quite hard. So give that a try. Another thing that I was experimenting with was chucking that top part in with something like this. So this is like an extension of the lick. So we're going to start on the 10th fret with like a legato thing, 10, 12, 10, 7, 10, 12, 7, 9 on the D string. Like this. 7, 9, 12, 7, back down. All the way down. Really cool little lick, um, and if you try this, experiment with that. Um, we're starting from the fifth of wherever we're playing, so you could do this in other keys. Just think about visualizing starting from the fifth, so in like E flat major, start from the B flat. Or if you were playing it in C, you'd be looking at the G. I just really like the sound of that lick, so that was something that I wanted to share with you. Give that a try again with the right hand. You want to really try and focus on hitting with the same part of your fleshy bit of your finger every time and focus on this part of your hand kind of cancelling out some of the noise. And then if you really focus on syncing things up so that this hand when it's playing is sort of doing also the job of muting so that when you pull off these fingers, you're not getting open string noise. Please, if you uh, do check this lick out, Feel free to tag me on Instagram and I'll repost all of you guys that have given this lick a try. I think it's one that's, because uh, it's quite repetitive, certainly possible to get under your fingers quite quickly. Um, and hopefully you think that one sounds cool. Super Guthrie inspired, but in a way that is a little bit less tricky and I think sounds really cool, has this synthy vibe to it. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in another video soon. I'm using the HX Stomp Eric Lead 35 preset. Um, you can grab my presets if you want. Patreon will be the place with the tab and the backing track. Cheers.